we welcome in the newest Oakland Raider defensive end. Let's say hello to Frosty Rucker. Frosty, Jim Miller, Pat Kerwin, moving the chain, Sirius XM Radio. Thanks for joining us, and congratulations on joining the Oakland Raiders. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thanks for having me. I know you're busy, Frosty, with getting your camp ready. Why don't we talk about that a little bit, and then we'll get to the Raiders. But what, where, where are you going? What do you got going on? Where's the passion, and how long have you been doing it? Well, there you go. This is actually the first annual camp that I'm having at my high school. Um, for a lot of people out there that don't know, my high school had at one point six uh, players in the NFL at one time, uh, starting with uh, Deshaun Foster, um, myself, Chris Chester, Matt McCoy, Sam Baker. We had a, a gentleman named Bo Bell. Um, like I said, we we had six guys in at one time, and it's the first annual. We're, we're putting the you know, everyone together in the city just to have a good time. It's a free camp. Um, again, I'm excited to be able to get back, especially at home. Well, talk about that. I mean, for, for you growing up, obviously in that area, a lot of interest uh, in football. Did you go to any camps growing up, Frosty? Because, man, you've been at it a long time, my friend. No, I never had the opportunity to do anything. And, you know, back when I was, you know, growing up, there was, really wasn't rivals and, you know, Nike camps that I knew of, you know, so I just stayed in the neighborhood and played on the concrete. But, uh, a lot, <laughs> you know, to be completely honest, I just played that way and then played Pop Warner. But, you know, I never did any camps, and I always thought about having an opportunity. I've helped over the years with so many different camps for players. And, you know, it's like, why, why don't we just do one at home and bring everyone back together and uh, do something for the city, something good and, you know, something very positive. Okay, and congratulations, and my hat's off to you, my friend. It's terrific. Uh, let's move on to the Raiders. We have a ton of Raider listeners all the time, Raider guys working in the studio. Um, just, you know, you're a California guy, so so here are the Raiders. Whether you loved them, liked them, didn't pay attention to them, you can't be a Californian at a football player and not really have an opinion of the Raiders before you got there. Why don't you share with us how things are going for you and what you always thought about with the Raiders? Well, the Raiders, when I was growing up there in L.A., before they moved to Oakland, and as I, you know, got older and started playing in the league, and that's when they, you know, they've been in um, Oakland for a while. And everyone back home is a a, a Raider fan. I got so much, uh, you know, so many text messages and phone calls from, you know, friends, but not just them, like their parents and everyone. It was It was wild, you know. They've been supporting me over the years, and I've gone to various teams, but it was nothing like, you know, say, like I can say it, coming home and playing on the soil and playing, you know, in the black and silver. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy about it. You know, one thing about football brings so many people joy, you know, across the map. And when I can have a whole community behind my back again, like as if when I went to USC, if this it had the same feeling, you know, me coming home and having that hometown support. So, again, it, it's, it's, it's been uh, – it was a quick ride, you know, did the mini camp. But I'm happy, and that's all that counts. Yeah, that's great for you to play for the for the home team there. And again, this camp will be in Tustin High School, ages eight to fourteen. You can reach out to Lauren at three one zero four six three zero eight six three, or go to Lauren at William Raymond dot com to check out information on the Camp of Champions for Frosty Rucker's hosting on the thirtieth at his former high school. And Frosty, man, like I said, you've been at it a long time. Last year, sixteen starts. You got it all in, uh, big boy, and you can still play. And I, I like this signing uh, for the Raiders. Talk about the leadership, what you're going to bring, because you're an old dog that can still hunt, my friend. Oh, yeah, sir. I'm glad you put it that way. You know, there's intangibles that, you know, you know, some like to talk about that comes with my play, and that's leadership and, you know, being a savvy vet and whatnot. But I, I just – I know I can help, you know, between the downs, you know, and that that's, that's my main focus, to be able to give them good productive downs. And, uh, you know, one of the key issues, you know, they had that they brought to my attention was stopping the run. And that's one of the things that, you know, I pride myself on doing is being able to be very stout in the run and, you know, taking on double teams and do whatever it takes to make sure we're in that top 10 on run defense. And, uh, you know, they got a lot of good guys. You know, when I I got there, I I had a chance to sit down with uh, Coach Paul Gunther and watch a couple of the OTA practices before I made a decision just to see what they really – had going on, how people hustled, how they worked, and how they went about their business. And, you know, I was very, 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 I wouldn't say pleased, but I was very surprised that, you know, for those guys picking up a brand-new defense, you know, just in the spring, 
There wasn't many mental errors. People were flying around, running to the ball, and that's what you want to see. You want to, you know, you want to come into a situation where people know how to work and are just as focused as you are. And uh, again, I made a, a good decision. I feel like, and I'm so excited to, you know, get to camp. It's in Napa. <laughs> we're gonna be there. I uh, can't wait to see you, Frosty. Um, so let me just take you back to USC for a minute. It's a 2006 draft. You get drafted in the third round. A lot of guys. I was at SC quite a bit with Pete in those days, and I remember speaking to your the team, and you were in the audience one time. I was going on about things that you should be doing to prepare yourself for the pros. Did you ever think you'd get this far? To, I mean, and think about your draft class and your teammates from SC. You out you outlasted a lot of those guys, Rusty. A lot of them. Yeah, uh, I mean, the one thing I could say is that, you know, USC gave me a great foundation to to build off. You know, it really taught me how to be ready to be prepared to be in a locker room, be in meeting rooms, pay attention, know how to take notes, you know, learn how to watch film. You know, I didn't master it until, you know, I got a little older, but, you know, it, it, it gave me a great foundation, and that's one thing I'm very thankful for. And, you know, I always say if you just... Bust your tail and you work out. It'll take care of itself, you know. Yeah, you it's got a, right. You had the great formula. Well, th- think of this experience. You probably played just played for one of the orneriest coaches in the NFL, in Bruce Arians, and now you sign with the Raiders, where John Gruden is probably even ornier. <laughs> you know, so maybe talk about that. How do you perceive your new head coach? Because he's got the passion for the game. I love Bruce. I love uh, John Gruden, just their styles uh, of coaching. And, and they're going to love, you know, obviously like Bruce loved you, I would think John Gruden is loves having you. And obviously one of the reasons why the Raiders signed you. But your perceptions of your new head coach. I mean, he's very electric. Uh, I was there for a few days just to be around and see the control he had over you know, the team, not just the offense. He had control over the whole team and be able to stop it, you know, be able to say his point, everyone's at attention. You know, you, you, you really look forward to having a coach that's not scaring people but being completely honest with them about what the, expect, the expectations are for them as a group, as a unit, as a player. You know, you know, he said it, you know, I, I hate to say what he said, but, you know, the, the standards are what they are. And, you know, you got to live up to him, and that's why, you know, he told us he brought veteran guys in there to show him how to do it, and that's on us to show him how to work and do the finer things and, you know, let those young guys get after it. And uh, I, I loved all his energy that he brought to the team. I loved the detail he had and the way everything was. It was crisp, it was fast. Everyone was on point, taking notes in the meeting rooms, you know, at attention in, you know, the 730 meeting that we had. I'm excited. Good. And you know, age is no barrier to John. John's going to keep the best players. The harder you work, the yeah. better you look. The, he doesn't care. He's going to keep you. And I, that old 92 is going to be. Did you get your number? That's what I want to know. No, no. Rookie has it. But, uh, you know, usually guys go in there, go in their, uh, what was that, their, their checkbook around trying to pull old number. I'm fine with it. I'm wearing number 98 again. Uh, they got a rookie, PJ Hall, that's wearing it. And, Boy, I tell you, watching him practice and, you know, being in the meeting rooms and how how focused he was, you know, he, he's going to put good use to that 92. I know that. <laughs> well, P.J. Hall, for how big he is, he had crazy measurables uh, in terms of his pro day workout. I like it. You know, like you kind of just touched. Yeah. Yeah, he can play. He had a lot of plays behind the line of scrimmage, too. What about Mo Hurst? Obviously, he had the heart condition, but I, I live here in Michigan. I watched him play. Dude, that dude is going to be a good go. player. Yeah, and he's a good kid. You know, uh, we've had, a, you know, we had a couple conversations while I was there, and tried to pick my brain a little bit, and just told him, you know, I'll be right there with him the whole training camp, the whole way, um, learning how to play these blocking schemes, learning how to, you know, keep your pad level down and whatnot. But the kid can play, and that's one thing I noticed watching the film before I signed the contract was that you look across the board, and it didn't look at like there was any projects, like oh, we need you to work with this guy because he doesn't understand this. All these guys have high football IQs and it seems like when coach um, was telling them what to do, where to put their hands, they, they just went out there and did it the next day at practice. And, you know, 
that, that, well, that feels good, you know. <laughs> well, yeah. well, I'll follow up with this because I think you're going to be a great influence on, on Arden Key, who they drafted uh, in the third round. And, and I know he's been a little unfocused and has done some foolish things, but, you know, hopefully he'll he'll drink with from some of the knowledge that you're going to be providing him because he has an opportunity to be a, a very good player in his own right if he, if he you oh, know, yeah. really focuses on football. Yeah, and I've seen him come off the edge. I mean, <laughs> They got a lot, a lot of rushers, and we just we didn't even have Mac then. And I can only imagine, you know, with Bruce on one side and everyone that's fighting and clawing to get on the field, you know, I don't want to put too much hype on it, but it's going to be exciting to be a part of. And uh, I'm, I'm so glad they had interest in me, and I got to check it out the right way, and it just feel like the great fit for my family, and, you know, I'm coming home. First camp for Frosty Rucker, and hopefully it goes off without a hitch. Again, anybody, if you want to get involved, you can email Lauren at WilliamRaymond.com. So answer all your questions, or you can just reach out to 310-463-0863. So, Frosty, we we thank you for giving a couple moments of your time, and enjoy your football camp. Thank you so much. You guys have a good one.